What if I told you that I've been accused of murder and stealing a million dollars? I can see into your soul. It is pure, brother. The evidence against you is a videotape. It clearly shows you murdering Willie. Come on, it's final evidence in a murder case. Come on! How long have you been driving? Three weeks. Hang on to your hat, partner. I'm going to floor it. What hotel is this? What hotel? Sir, are you ill? No, no, I'm fine, thanks. It's the Bedford Drysdale, of course. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, listen, one other thing. Who's registered in this room? A Sam Casey. Is that you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Sam is, he's using his invisibility. Send in Ted Benton and Colonel de Blasio. how I got here because I can't remember. I just hope I had a good time yesterday because, man, I am really paying for it now. <laughs> Leonard, my head feels like it's gonna burst. I'm so out of it, I took my stabilizer off without thinking. Yeah, 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 Sam, I understand, I understand. Uh, 
Sam, just where were you yesterday? Well, I'm a little fuzzy on that too, Leonard, but I'm sure it'll come back to me. Yeah, well, it's nearly five o'clock. You better get in here right away. Okay. Amnesia? Could that explain it? Sounds like an alibi to me. Now, wait a minute. It can happen. Well, we'll know soon enough. I'll call you when he arrives. Now, Sam. Would you believe it, Joe? I can't remember where I left my bike yesterday. <laughs> Can you believe that? Parking lot. But that's it. Just come along quietly, Sam. <laughs> What's going on out there? Our security people are freaking out. They jumped me when I came through the door. I'm sorry, Sam. Now, don't move. And don't, I warn you, touch your stabilizer. Grace, tell security he's in here. Leonard, have you gone bananas? And what's this all about, huh? About Willie Henderson, Sam. Henderson? You mean the man you disgraced and humiliated? The man you kicked out of Intersect without even giving him a chance to defend himself? All right, what about Willie Henderson, Leonard? You murdered him, Sam. What? Now, Sam, please, please. In view of the facts, there's absolutely no other conclusion. But if there are any extenuating facts in your favor, I want to hear them. Now, confide in me. I'll do all I can for you, I promise. You set me up for a mission, right, Leonard? So I can infiltrate as a rogue agent. That's it, isn't it? No, that's not it, Sam. Grace, what's holding up those guards? Coming, sir. You can't shoot me, Leonard. Not after all we've been through together. Now, I warn you. Leonard, I don't know what's going on here. I don't believe you can kill me without giving me a chance to find out. Hmm. Two minutes, 58 seconds gone. Make that 59. Abby, please, don't scream. All right? <sighs> Sam, what's the gag? Wait a minute, you don't know? Leonard says I murdered Willie Henderson. You're putting me on. I wish. In here, man! Now squeeze through, one at a time. You two, stand with your back against the door. Whatever happens, don't let that door open. Leonard, has everyone gone off their rockers? Don't you interfere, Abby. Sir, obviously he's not here. Oh, yes, he is. Where, sir? He's here. Hiding, take my word for it. All we have to do is wait, and he'll come out. Within 11 minutes. I haven't got a chance, Sam. Give up. No way, Leonard. Trapped. All we gotta do is wait for fail safe and you'll pop on like a light bulb. All right, you give me the particulars of the charges against me and maybe you won't have to wait for fail safe. <clears throat> I have conclusive evidence against you, Sam. That's all I can tell you right now. Why? We top security. There are facts in your defense I'm sure they were made available to you at your trial. You expect me to buy that? Forget it, Leonard. No other choice, Sam. Oh, yeah? Haven't I? 
Leonard, you're being so unfair. What happened? He jumped through the window. I didn't see him. Of course you did. Look, there he goes. Captain, call the police. Get out an all-points bullet. here all day. Come on, let's let's get rolling. Let's find some action. Your action is for movies. Relax and enjoy the scenery. Attention all units. All units stand by for top priority APB. Suspect wanted on a 211 and on a 187. Named Samuel Casey. Six foot, blonde hair, blue eyes. Wearing faded denim jacket with floral design. The suspect is reputedly a magician and escape artist capable of extraordinary tricks of deception. Exercise extreme caution. A magician? He probably disappears into his head like the rest of his rabbits. One Adam 22, my partner is in pursuit of 211 187, suspect Sam Casey. North on Main Street at Market. I'd like to have him on my bus sheet. Ah, oh, come on. It's too hot a day to be running around. We gotta find him. Come on. Willie Henderson's message to the thief. This was found in Sam's apartment, right? Yeah, a wastebasket. A little too obvious, if you ask me. It could be a plant. Except, it does corroborate the other evidence, doesn't it? I'm afraid so. I'll be in my office. You condemn Sam without hearing. Just the way you did with Willie Henderson. I have had it, Leonard. I'm resigning. Oh, wait, 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 Captain. Wait, wait. Sit down, please. Now, Willie Henderson had an indiscreet relationship with a girl from the Soviet trade mission, right? Yes, but it was only And when the XB-107 was stolen, he was suspected, right? Yes, by you, unfairly. Wrong. Wrong on both counts. What? Willie and I had a, uh, understanding. You mean that Willie's dismissal was a, a fake? Yes, a cover. You see, the thief knew that Willie was innocent. But we spread the word that Willie, in his bitterness, was representing the Soviets and prepared to spend one million dollars for the XB-107. Now, this paper was found today in Sam's apartment. Willie's arrangement for the meet. Of course, he didn't know who was going to appear, but do you know who did? Who? Sam. I'll never believe it. We have conclusive evidence. Nothing is conclusive except an eyewitness. Would you believe the evidence of your own eyes? The murder was recorded on videotape. A surveillance camera? Yes. Come along, I'll show you. And now for a WJKK exclusive. This reporter has learned that the murder of a man named Willie Henderson last night at the Saxon Arms, a Midtown hotel, is connected with the theft of a very hush-hush government secret. Henderson was scheduled to meet with the thief and was prepared to pay $1 million for the return of a device called the XB-107. We have it from a reliable source that the XB-107 was not recovered.
that the million dollars in taxpayers' money, folks, has disappeared. The whole episode is so secret that the federal authorities have refused any comment beyond stating that the FBI have joined state and local police in the search for the killer. And now, back to our regular program. Sorry about that. A couple of real punks. Oh, no, they're just poor sinners. I'll, I'll pray for their souls. All right, fine. But uh, how about if I take you home, all right? Well, the Lord is my shepherd. But I guess an extra man riding shotgun can't hurt. Okay, come on. Okay, here you are, safe and sound. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, goodbye. Don't be silly. You know you have no place to go. Come on in. All right. Thank you. This is, uh, nice. Oh, you may have my bedroom, brother. I'll take the couch. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. You don't even know me. I mean, how can you trust some bum off the streets? You're not a bum. You're a fugitive. How'd you know that? Because you're afraid of the police officers. I saw it. But you're not afraid of me, huh? No. Well, what if I told you that I've been accused of murder and stealing a million dollars? Well, you certainly didn't spend it on clothes. I live by faith. I can see into your soul. It is pure, brother. Thanks. Hey, listen, will you call me Sam? Maggie? Maggie, can you hear me? You're deaf, aren't you, Maggie? How did you know? Well, I just called your name right now and you didn't hear me. But yet you understand everything I'm saying right now, don't you? My eyes are my ears. I'm a very accomplished lip reader. Here, sit down. Thank you. Uh, I said, thank you. <laughs> now, how do we go about clearing your good name? We? Well, the good book says, lend thy neighbor a helping hand. <laughs> With that kind of faith in me, I must be innocent. Do you doubt it? I don't know, Maggie. 
mind's really messed up. I can't remember. You know, I've got this picture in my mind, but I don't know whether I dreamt it or whether it happened or what. I, th I think I remember meeting the murdered man yesterday, but I, I don't, I'm not sure. I, and there was, there was some kind of trouble. But in Agatha Christie, suspects always prove that they were somewhere else when the murder occurred. Except I can't remember where I was. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maggie, I was hit on the head with a gun. Now that would kind of shake up the old brain cells. All right, let us sit and reason together, saith the Lord. First, first we demolish the evidence against you. I don't even know what it is. There is some person that could help me, if, if I could reach her. Can't you? I don't know, Maggie. It's gonna be tough. It's been an APB out of me, and every cop in the street's gonna be looking for me. Plus, I figure her phone's gotta be bugged. Who would stop two servants of the Lord? It belonged to my brother. He played trumpet in the band. Herb Albert made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Well, that's a shame. Well, he'll return to the fold someday when his lip gives out. Who is it? Abby, it's me, Sam. Sam? Hi, Abby. Uh, this is Maggie Cahan. She's helping me out. I want to help you too, Sam. The evidence against you is a videotape. It clearly shows you murdering Willie. How? How'd they get a videotape of me? A hidden camera. Willie mounted it in the wall. He was working undercover for Driscoll. Willie was? The camera was to photograph the thief who stole the XB-107. What's that? I, I don't know. It's some military device. Driscoll won't even tell me. And I stole it from Willie? Everyone at Intersect thinks so. Abby, are you sure? Is that me in that videotape? Absolutely, Sam. It's clear as day. It's not a dream. It really happened. Oh, I did see Willie last night. Remember. I remember. He was going into a hotel. I can, I can even remember the name of it now. The Saxon Arms. I heard that Willie had hit Skid Row after Driscoll fired him. I was just down there to talk to him, uh, give him a couple of bucks or something. I know, Sam. You were seen. By who? By Intersect's backup agent, Ted Benton. Well, then he knows about the camera. Yes, he helped Willie mount it. Sam, where are you going? I gotta see that tape. You got it. I need a copy. You're kidding. Stay out of here! No! Where you're gonna play it? I'll find a place. Okay, thanks. This is what they call breaking and entering, isn't it? Funny, I don't feel like a felon. Maggie, you don't have to come in here, you know. You can stay out of here that way. If anything happens, you can split. Oh no, whither thou goest, I goest. Okay. One Adam 22, silent alarm at Baker Appliances, 4th and Euclid. Investigate, code 2. One Adam 22, that's a Roger. Okay, hot shot. Code 2 means nice and easy. Problem, partner. So you're the one. Uh, Sam.
Sam, you're a louse. They put me through the shredder because of you. I had to blow you away. Hey, cool it, buddy. You frame me, and then you call me buddy. Sorry, Willie, but you came on pretty strong. No, no, that's not the way it happened. He's been shot. But when I left him, he was alive. Somebody has tampered with his tape. But won't everyone else know that? On videotape, splice is almost undetectable. Now I realize what happened. He thought I was the thief. He thought that I had come to deliver the XB-107 for a million dollars. Because when he came to, I explained to him why I had followed him. He understood, he apologized. He said that I had blundered in on some big hush-hush government operation. That was it, the XB-107. He told me to forget about the whole thing. I said I would. With a bump in the head, I guess I really did. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Fantasy Club, where the unusual is always on the program. Music maestro? Gentlemen, your table awaits you. Ah, you prefer to stand. Very well, then it's showtime. Some kind of dummy or something? It was alive. You saw it. Maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. Look, in one month I put in 20 years, and then I kissed this badge goodbye. But, 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 but nothing. We cannot go into the watch commander and tell him this story. He'll think that we're a couple of ding dongs, and they'll have the shrinks tapping our skulls with little itty bitty hammers. And there goes my pensiony wenchiny. Do you diggy wiggy? Yeah, I diggy. Except I don't. Let me go. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe it. Well, where do we hit next? What is this? The servants of the Lord strike again? We only are undoing Satan's work, brother. All right, partner. Let's find us a phone booth. There's only one guy that could have framed me. So let's just play his game. Take it easy, Colonel. We are home clean. <laughs> uh, 
Hello? Ted? Yeah? Sam Casey. Sam Casey. Yeah, Sam. I hear the evidence against me is a videotape, Ted. Well, old buddy, do you know I can't comment on that? Ah, uh, come off it, Ted. You were Henderson's backup. You brought in the tape. You know what's on it. Yeah. All right, let's uh, say that I do, so? So you let me see it. I give myself up. Got yourself a deal, Sam. Where and when? How about the alley behind Albardo? I'll meet you there 6.15 this morning. 6.15? All right. Oh, and Ted, please don't bring any cops. Those guys are trigger happy. Yeah, so I've heard. <laughs> He's not going to show up. We've been suckered. Yeah. I know, but why? Why? and I will call you when I return. Okay, Ted, this is Dan, your old electronics man. I want a bigger slice of the pie, buddy, like, say, half. You better get in touch or else, and I'll only be here for one hour. Yeah. We are there. I hear on the news that the take was a cool million. Uh, you there? <clears throat> yeah. You got a cold? Uh... If I don't get half, the outtakes, Benton. Sure, I destroyed them right before your eyes. But I'm no fall guy. I made copies of the whole master first. <laughs> you dig? I dig. I'll expect you in 30 minutes with half a mil or else. Okay. You two come unarmed, you hear? Okay. Where? The usual place. Hello? Hello?
enough already. Uh, I didn't see you come out. I'm sneaky. Hey, you got a message. Maybe Casey called again. Okay, Ted, this is Dan, your old electronics man. I want a bigger slice of the pie, buddy. Like, say, half. You better get in touch, or else. And I'll only be here an hour. Do we pay him off? Yeah, sure. Permanently. Okay, I found the million. Not that it's gonna help much, because Benton could always say I planted it. The thing is, we gotta find a guy by the name of Dan. Dan who? But if you don't know his last name... Ah, but Benton does. for someone? I asked you a question, lady. I'm sorry. Hey, Dan said in an hour. We better move it. very low behind the seat. All right, you ready to tail him? Okay, not too close. Gotcha. are bad for your health. Ah, oh, come on, Bruce. You want to get us killed? Get off the street.
I don't see any suitcase. Well, hello. We, uh, left the money in the car. You got the tape? Right here. But first, the money. Yeah. You've just blown a stake out. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see some ID. ID, ID, clown. Easy. Uh, easy. Can you read, my friends? Only the yellow pages. You're funny, very funny. Where's the other guy who ran in here? What other guy? your voice. I'm just the instrument of the Lord. But what were all those things floating around? I don't understand. Well, Maggie, the Lord moves in mysterious ways. 
Yeah, but if Sam resigned, I couldn't blame him after such little faith I showed in him. But, Leonard, he hasn't resigned. He just promised Maggie that if everything worked out, he'd devote one week of his life to the Lord's work. Hey, here's Maggie. Oh, give for Jesus? Yeah, sure. And where's Sam? 